another edition of Gen Sports Corner back at you for November 12, 2023. Uh, before I get into it, YouTube fam, like, subscribe, put the notification bell so you know every time I drop. And um, let's go ahead and get into it, man. Um, NFL Week 10, a lot of action going on this week. Eagles are off. <clears throat> Raiders and the Eagles had a big win last week, so, you know, congratulations to them. And then let's go ahead and look at um, who's going to win and, and what my picks are going to be. So, first on the list, um, Bears, who did they play? Bears played the Panthers on Thursday night. I picked the Bears to cover the three and a half point spread. I was incorrect, but I still thought the Bears would win. You have two teams with very bad defenses. Uh, Bears have a good run defense, but they can't stop the pass worth of shit. Um, Panthers defense is just horrible all around and both offenses are not that good especially with Justin Fields out but Bears are just they're getting healthier and they have more pieces so they won 16-13 good for them uh, next game on the docket that's going on right now in London between the Colts and the Patriots I believe uh, I believe the Colts are up 7-3 at the time of this recording and I picked who's my pick my pick was Indianapolis to cover the one and a half point spread they're just a better team, more complete. Matt Jones is not the answer. I think Gardner Minshew is a better option for the Colts right now, and they're more solid on defense. So going with the Colts in this game to finish off this game. Uh, next on the docket would be the Ravens against the Browns. Ravens playing at home, favored by six and a half points. Um, I like what the Ravens are doing. You know, people have their, their doubts about Lamar Jackson and and the consistency. You know, that team goes as he goes. Sometimes he's super hot, pause, and, you know, using his legs to pick up yardage and just being a matchup nightmare, but at times still struggles reading the field. So I, I think it's going to be a close game. I do think they cover the spread at home. Wouldn't be surprised if they didn't, but I, I think they win by – at the lowest, three points. At the most, I think, about eight to nine points. So I'm picking the Ravens here. Uh, next game here is the Bengals at home versus the Houston Texans. Bengals favored by six and a half points. I think this is going to be a very good game. C.J. Stroud has been picking it up after that three to four game stretch where he, was, he went cold a little bit. But he's reinvigorated himself and... He's throwing the ball well like he was during that hot start. You you know, you have Tank Dell going off. You have Robert Woods coming back healthy. Nico Collins is out this game. I think that's going to affect them in the passing game. And they can't really run the ball that well, even with Damian Pierce in there. But now that he's out, they're leaning on Singletary in this game against a very good Bengals rush defense. And the Bengals offense has been heating up. So I'm, I'm going to go with the Bengals in this game. I think that they get it done. But I think it's going to be a good game. Probably like 30 to 21 Bengals. I think it's going to be more competitive than people, than people anticipated to be. Uh, next game on the docket is uh, the 49ers versus Jacksonville playing in Jacksonville. 49ers favored by two and a half. This is a game I think that the Jaguars will upset. I think the the Jaguars will pull the upset in this game. I think that they're criminal, criminally over underrated right now. They do a lot of good things on offense. They do a lot of good things well, and that's Doug Peterson's MO. I don't know if they do any one thing great, and they probably have the talent is the limiting factor, but I believe they do a lot of things very, very well. And San Fran, for as good as they are, they've been shaky. They're on a three-game losing streak. They're trying to stop the bleeding right now. I think Jacksonville comes in and, and surprises them. So I'm going with Jacksonville for the upset here in this game at home in Jacksonville. And I'm actually going to backtrack to the Bengals and Houston game. I'm actually going to pick um, the Texans to upset the Cincinnati Bengals in this game. Um, I, I, I do think that – I said that I thought the Bengals would win 30-21, to 21, but – I'm going to flip that decision. I think the Houston Texans come in to Cincinnati and upset them. Next game on the docket, New Orleans Saints versus the Minnesota Vikings. Saints favored by two and a half points in Minnesota. This is another game where I believe that the Vikings will come 
will be at home and upset the Saints. I, I like the Saints and what they've been doing with Derek Carr, but I think the Vikings, that trade they made for that uh, Arizona quarterback, I, I think it's going to pay dividends for them. I think it really helped them out in the last game. You know, you had the injury to Kirk Cousins. He's out for the year. But I think that trade is paying dividends already for them. Now, I'm looking at a prediction here on SportingNews.com saying that they're favoring the Saints to win by 28 to 25. And I see it the same way, except for I see it on the flip side. I, I think the Vikings probably win by three to seven points. And ironically, last year, the Vikings beat the Saints 28 to 25. And I see the same thing happening in this rematch this year. So I'm going with the Vikings to, to win by probably a field goal in this game and get the upset. Uh, next game on the docket is Pittsburgh Steelers at home versus the Green Bay Packers. Steelers favored by three and a half points. I'm picking the Steelers to win this game. Green Bay has been Jekyll and Hyde all year, and I just don't think they're a very good team. That showed up last week as well. And this week, I think Pittsburgh, ever since getting Deontay Johnson back, he brings another dimension to their offense that he didn't have, regardless of whether it's Kenny Pickett behind center or somebody else. He just stretches the field. He's getting high volume. He's had, what, 23 targets over the last two games, and he's been hella productive. I, I, I like I like Pittsburgh here in this spot. Next game on the docket, Tampa Bay at home versus Tennessee. Buccaneers favored by one and a half points. I like Tampa Bay in this game. I think Baker Mayfield, love him or hate him, he's stabilized that Tampa Bay offense to a certain extent. And I think they just have a little bit more to bring to the table than Tennessee does. Tennessee just does not have a good defense. And Derrick Henry, he has not been the dominant, otherworldly force that he's been over the past five, six years. So I, I have to say that, look, I know you have Hopkins over there at wide receiver with Tennessee, but they they just been so inconsistent on offense. They just have. It just hasn't clicked. So I'm going for I'm going with Tampa Bay. I think that defense is able to hold Tennessee to like 17 or 20 points, and and Tampa Bay is probably going to be able to put up 24 to 26 ish. So I'm going with Tampa Bay here. So that's it for that's it for the one o'clock games. Now moving on to the four o'clock games. We're looking at Atlanta going out to the desert to Arizona to play the Cardinals. Um, Cardinals are one and a half point underdogs, but I'm going with the Cardinals here. Kyler Murray coming back from injury, I believe. Well, not injury, but um, yeah, the, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, the ACL injury, I believe. He's coming back this week, I believe. And I, I think that even with the rust, even with the ring rust, I think that he's going to bring a, a dimension to that team that they've just been missing. I mean, it's just painfully obvious. Now, they're not a very good team overall, all around, but I, I like the, the – uh, the Cardinals in this spot. I think the Falcons, they, they've done some good things this year. They have a, a good defense in some aspects, but Ritter leaves something to be desired for me. So are they the better team? Yeah, but playing on the road, I think the Arizona Cardinals are able to get the upset here. Uh, next game, Detroit Lions playing out in LA versus the Chargers. Lions favored by two and a half points. And, look, I'm going with the Lions here. Lions don't have a great run defense, but the Chargers don't like running the ball consistently for whatever reason, and they like getting pass happy. And I think that's going to play into the the Lions' hands. And I think the Lions' offense, they're going to get rolling against that Chargers defense. I'm picking, picking the Lions to win by three to four points. Now moving on to the 425 games. Um, Dallas Cowboys uh, favored by 16.5 points at home versus the New York Giants. Cowboys trying to bounce back from that brutal loss that we administered to, the, to them last week. And I loved every second of it. But they are going to beat the Giants. I just don't believe they cover the 16.5 point spread. They probably beat them by like 13, 14 points. But I just don't think they're going to beat them by 17. Uh, but yeah, I'm going Dallas here. That's a pretty easy one. It's a layup. And then Seattle Seahawks at home versus the Washington Commanders. Seahawks favored by 6.5 points. Going with Seattle here, the Commanders can't block anything. They can't stop a nosebleed. The offensive line is just not in a good spot right now, and they're airing the ball out, which just exacerbates the problem. 
And Seattle, they're they going to come in and do what they do. All three guys healthy, uh, Smith and Jigba, um, uh, Tyler Rocket, and then DK Metcalf, they're all healthy. So they're going to come in and they're going to roast Forbes. Forbes been Forbes has been a revolving door for getting roasted by receivers, well, top receivers this year. Against other receivers, I think he's been pretty solid. But against the top guys, A.J. Brown, twice, cooked him. He's still burnt. You still see the smoke coming up off him right now. Um, against the top guys, he 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 been getting cooked. So he's going to get cooked against Metcalf, too. And then his slot receiver going to get cooked against Njigba, probably. So I'm going with Seattle to win and cover the six-and-a-half-point spread. And then Sunday night, we had the New York J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, Jets playing on the road against my Las Vegas Raiders. You know what time it is. Jets paper by one and a half points. I believe, unfortunately, the Jets are going to win this game just because the defense is so tight. That secondary is so tight that I think that's going to be the deciding factor in this game. I think it's very simple. Jets secondary and that defense is going to be able to keep us from outpacing their offense in a close game. So I'm going Jets in a close game. And then the Monday night game, Buffalo Bills versus the Denver Broncos in Buffalo. Bills favored by seven and a half points. I'm going with the Bills to cover the spread. They have, man, they've had an up and down season. But I, I think they get a good, solid win against the Denver Broncos. And that is my slate, my weekend slate for the NFL. Let me know what you think. You know, we're sitting back pretty. Philadelphia Eagles 8-1 and one after beating the Cowgirls, ripping their hearts out, just seeing the Cowgirls fall on their face for yet another year. And hopefully we can get the sweep later, later in the season against them. Enjoy your Sundays, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Mm-hmm.